you have your odd it's audrey hepburn right <laughs> oh thanks yeah i think it's audrey hepburn oh yeah because awesome. she had she always had the hair up and really tight like that and then and then a thingy a bun oh, and cool. then the, the earrings <laughs> this is called the, it's hailing today and so i didn't bother drying my hair oh gosh yeah <laughs> Oh, hey, is, John. John's like, oh, John's, John, do you see, just see your face? She's like, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 Robin and Maria and Cynthia and Melanie. It's so great to see all of you here. Um, the lovely, lovely uh, Danielle Wicks is with me today. We were just so excited after last week's stream. Um, and we were talking about the earring looms. <laughs> And I was like, maybe we should just come back next week because today I was going to start the Sunweaver um, videos, but I was like, well, let's just, let's stay with this because it really generated a lot of excitement with your pattern. And then you and I were talking about um, tiles and we talked about how my family's actually from the Azores, from the island of the Azores, we're Portuguese and I love Portuguese tiles. Um, and so you just like, I don't even know. You were like, oh yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this girl, is, you are so amazing. I was just cracking up. Like, I can't believe how fast you operate. It's so cool. Oh, there's Trisha. We love you. Hi. Your earrings today were so good. <laughs> I don't know if you saw Trisha's um, live today, but she made some sexy, sassy earrings Ooh. and, um, yeah. I got to yeah. check those out. Yeah, we're gonna definitely she and I have something. We're, we're cooking something. Good. Uh, yeah. Cook it <laughs> up. Cook it up. Yeah. So we want, we want Trish to love everywhere. Okay. Zach is here. Eliana. Oh, and somebody named Jewel Loom. <laughs> Who could that be? <laughs> <laughs> Our very own Joan is behind the controls. So, um, so anyway, you once again uh, whipped up a beautiful pattern, and Thank you. so incredibly grateful for you to be here. Um, I pulled some colors from the Jewel Loom shop, and I ended up not having a. I don't want to say. Um, well, my, my darkest blue is just different. It's called a metallic nebula, but I also, yeah, I was also kind of playing around with the idea of adding a little red because, um, the Portuguese flag is red and green and yellow. And it has like this, it's almost like a Tanzanite, um, blue purple mm -hmm. in it, in the, in the emblem. And, but and then roosters, Portuguese roosters are like totally cool. Portuguese. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll do a little red. But I thought, okay, well, I'm I'm gonna use this nebula, which is like a tanzanite. And um, so yeah, so I have the white and the yellow and the green and two different types of turquoise, like the turquoise original, turquoise blue, and then this nebula that I'm working with. I think your color palette's pretty similar. But how brilliant yeah. to like look at a tile and 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 it's just I love it. So you take it over, or you know I will talk until the cows come home. <laughs> oh no, no, it's cool. those those sound like beautiful colors. They're awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I've got um. Well, let's see. I started with the earrings. I'll pull these off and show you. Oh, okay. Cool. And so um, these are. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I just they're can't. so fun. They're so fun. Yeah, and, the kids. Right now, but you, you gotta go. It's right there. My iPad's in use. You gotta go, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. We love you. I'm using it right now to go live, but you gotta go. I'm sorry. You can use your phone instead. You got it. I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. Okay? Why don't you just call him in the portal and he'll he'll open it. No, buddy, it doesn't work that way. Can you close? Please close the door, please. Thank you. Please close the door. I'm sorry. You know what? Such reality, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. God bless you. No, I mean, this is like, this is the way we work now. There is no, you know what I mean? He, he actually wants my iPad and I'm currently yeah. using it. <laughs> yeah. No, you handled that really well. Really well. I love it. 
there you go. Parenting 101 by Danielle. <laughs> well, I yeah. don't know. I Sometimes I feel like a mom fail because I let them do a lot of screen time. But it's kind of uh, like, you know, it's just anyway, back to the earrings. <laughs> So yeah. I, I was inspired by the tiles. And so what I did is just like a Google search. I went on, looked for pictures of tiles and then just made a little loom pattern that kind yeah. of looked like it. And then went a little crazy with some fringe and yeah. Yeah. No, you were, you were shooting those over this past weekend and I was just like, oh my God, I can't. These are so cool. Oh yeah. No, I love them. I really do love them. And they look like, you know, they're going to be pretty fairly easy to put together. You're using the little boo-boo earring looms, which again, you know, these just started off as a marketing um, promo item that I took to Bead Fest. They were flat. They didn't have the risers. And Danielle got one. And then the next thing I knew, she had made a pair of earrings. And I was like, oh my gosh, girl. And it was so exciting. And then from there, of course, um, Robert figured out how to make like this little tiny boo-boo, you know, riser situation. And uh, and so, yeah, so two of them, you get two of them in a pack and people have been loving them. And Danielle, you just, we, we realized last week that you, we had never showed um, a demo with the risers. We, you did a beautiful demo and explanation explanation when they were flat. So that's why we're oh, back. That's right. And so we're yeah. once again, just super honored. And, um, and please, Joan's going to be posting uh, the links for the affiliate link for uh, Danielle. And please make sure that you use that. So oh. that's my, yeah. So yeah, so you keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So um, what I did is I, I just made a a quick design that has um it's 13 columns and so you'll need 14, so 14 warp strands okay and there's um there's actually two patterns i haven't made the second one yet it's a simpler one the second one um this is the one that really got my heart i was like this is this is so cool um, yeah but there's another one that's um in the link that joan's been dropping that you can try too and it also has 13 columns so you would need 14 warps oh okay cool i'm gonna yeah. bring Let's see. So oh, I, I have my pattern up on my, up on my screen. S you can print your pattern and follow it that way. Um, I think with my hat band patterns, I tend to print them so that I can, you know, take a ruler or a piece of paper and kind of, you know, follow the lines. This is yep. short. So I'm feeling like maybe I can, I yeah, I can. <laughs> I can have a split screen here and uh so okay go ahead <laughs> oh i gotta yeah. get my so our um our i don't know if everyone can see my mat yet or not oh yeah there you go oh there you go thanks john yeah john you could get rid of me <laughs> <laughs> okay and so um what i've got here is one that's done basically but i have another one here to show setting it up um and then um I've got this one finished. It's ready to remove and show finishing. So let's just jump in. I've got some wildfire. Um, that's what I've been using, the 0.06. Feel free to use any color. Any color that you've got will work just fine. And I was wondering, I don't know, Jules, are you using blue? Or it looks like you're using frost today. Does that sound Yeah, right? so it's kind of funny. The These are, are they're between frost and, like, I've got an opaque color. I mean, that's kind of what's really fun about tiles in general is that, you know, they're so, um, perfectly imperfect, right? Right. Um, exactly. They, um, you really want the authenticness of, of the artist and, um, that feeling, you know, that they're on the floor or the wall. So this is really fun. I'm using my jewel loom bead board. And so we're working with six different colors and there's six different slots. And so I'm filling up all the different little slots. I don't know, Joan, if you want to peek at that. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Can we see? Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if she heard me. Yeah. Oh, there we yeah. go. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah. And so a lot of people are they're so cute. They're like, um, like, you know, whispering in code. Can you tell me what that piece of cork is for? <laughs> and I'm like, it's for your needle. So when you're not using it, you put your needle into the cork. 
just like that. So oh, easy peasy oh. pumpkin squeezy. So, okay, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh, I should have brought mine up. You sent me one of those, uh, a, a circle shaped one. I really like it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think there's an order in for a square too. I have to ch Sweet. double check on that, but I'm almost positive. And so what I did here is I just from, and I meant to actually do this from the, um, I'll move it over. I meant to do it on the edge. So on the edge, most prong here. So this one right here, just go ahead and okay. tie. Yeah. I'm going to tie just a little knot and make it pretty tight. So there's one part, I'm going to do another, so it's a double knot. And once you've got that, then we'll start warping. And I still have my thread on the spool. I don't know if you guys do the same. That's usually how I, how I like to start my, because I don't know how much thread I'm going to need. So that's usually what, what I do. And then I'm going to come up and just go through the second one because we only need 14 warps and there's 15 notches on the earring, uh, earring, um, earring loom. So when I come down here, I kind of like hold it with my thumb and just do a turn Yeah. to get it to do that. And this is important. You don't want to go all the way around. You want to make it so we can do the pulley thing at the end. I need a better name than pulley thing for that. <laughs> yeah. And, and keep in mind that the idea with the earring loom, um, you know, they're, they're portable, they're super duper lightweight. Um, and you know, they're fairly easy to work with for sure. But you know, uh -huh. if you're, it, you can absolutely use your original jewel loom. I feel like somebody made that comment and I want to make sure that you do know that you can use your original jewel loom. You could even use your baby. Um, and so, and quite frankly, whatever other loom you may have that I've designed, um, you can use that as well. The thing with the earring loom is that there's not going to be like a lot of waste because yeah. it's literally making an earring. And so, you know, when you're thinking about the cost of your, your beading thread or what have you, um, you're really not going to have a lot of waste at all with the earring loom. Exactly. That was what I was thinking too, because the wildfire, I use up so much wildfire because I nice. use it probably almost every, every, yeah. you, you can relate. I am sure. Yeah. I, use a lot I, of can, tea, right? I can definitely, definitely on that. It's anywhere I can save. I, I always welcome that. Yeah. Yeah. I was, um, yeah, I feel like gas went back up. <laughs> here anyway we were having really crazy weather last week like it was super cold yeah right? yeah did it get so, warmer, at least for you guys um it did not um but man are the mountains so beautiful we have snow like oh you just can't even imagine snowed at the beach it snowed um, at the beach really it snowed at the beach yeah it's pretty crazy wow That's how far crazy. are you from are you near ventura at all yeah i'm right here that's where my family is. Oh my, my gosh. And when, when I still had my grandparents, that's where they were. That is so crazy. Same different last name. Yeah. Yeah. They're your maiden. They're the park family is my, my maiden name. Oh, okay. Well that's, yeah, that's, um, yes. Yeah, so I'm a Wainimi girl, but Vin, Wain, uh, Ventura is right here. Neat. That's so close. Yeah. It's so nearby. Yeah. I um, go to Ventura often. And um, yeah, because we're we all kind of just sit on top of each other in this county. Okay, I think I just managed to go through my first row, but hopefully nothing falls out because I'm gonna be really <laughs> <mad> <laughs> if it <Yep>. does. <laughs> And so what I did here after I made my, my warps is I just went around it and I'm going to just double check that I've got 14, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I was pretty sure that would work out, but I, I always count. I learned to count and I'm going to make it really tight. And then I went around this loop like a couple times. And the reason I did that is because it's making it easier for me to do my knot because I have to do my knot a little different on this side than I did on the starting side. Okay just because I don't have two strands to pull through. So I just kind of looped under like that with the tail. 
I'm just going to bring it up here. How far down did you start from the top of the loom for uh, your wefts? Are your beads um, kissing up to, to the oh, right? So when you started to stitch? I'm um, already stitching. <laughs> yeah, I I'm excited. Oh, no, okay. Up. You're just way a down. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so I can just a little. Down. Yeah. So like, nice. Okay. And I think I, I moved it around. Like as I got going, I just kind of just like okay. slid it back and forth and stuff. I, I do. Joan, can you bring my overhead and not me up? Okay, so I slid this ruler underneath the warps. So I put the beads on the needle. I, I, you know, let them fall all the way down. And then I grabbed my ruler and I put my ruler right here and it popped those little guys right up in between each warp. And I was happier than a pig in mud. I don't know if it's going to work each and every time, but it worked for me this time. And, um, and so, yeah, so, you know, I just am bringing this up because I know last week we were like first row was not like our friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. I'm yeah, so so, <laughs> yeah. So that's what I did and I had success and I'm super happy. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a great idea. I like that idea. In fact, I've got a ruler next to me and I might do the same if I need it. Yeah. I was tripping out. I was like, oh, I wonder if this will, if this will work. I might, I might do it again. Let's see. Anyway. Okay, I'm. So I don't always like. Um, I don't always know. Like sometimes my tension's a little tighter, sometimes it's looser. But yeah, sometimes it just pop. They just pop in, right? And there's no problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so off camera, what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting my uh, weft thread. Okay. And I just did a wingspan. It doesn't take very much. Oh, me probably. too. Me too. Yeah. I did a jewel span. I call it a jewel. A jewel span. span. Yeah. Oh, I feel like it's like more than I'll need, but. I'd rather yeah. have it. I know. I was kind of like, uh, but yeah, it's always better to have more. And just get that in there. I didn't do my usual flatting with the um, chain nose pliers trick for this yet. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that okay. was a, I think that was why it originally showed me that one time at a show and I just started laughing. It's a lifesaver. It's really great. Yeah, it's it's a total lifesaver. And so I'm just stringing the first row of the pattern here, which is just, um, it's actually symmetrical for top and bottom. So whatever you can start at the top or the bottom, you're going to have the, the same row. Yeah. I work from the bottom up. Do you do the same? No, I have always been a top to the bottom. I, interesting. I don't know. Yeah. And I work with my loom straight up and down. And I start with, um, yep, I start with the top and I work down where cool. I do believe, I do believe Trisha is a, works from the um, bottom up. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I don't know what Joan does between Joan and Ginger and Lord only knows. <laughs> <laughs> So what's a few of my Type in there, Joan. What do you what do you um crazy girls do? Do you do you work from the top or the bottom? So I'm finding that using my um my uh ruler for this second row is being very helpful as well. Did you use the, the ruler for oh yeah, you started it that way and then I'm gonna see what happens. Yeah, Earlier, just I that. had some luck. I just and did then it again. We'll just try it. The risers are um, they're amazing and they're the perfect height. Oh, okay, good. And so one of the things that I found helped was if I was having any issues with my tension being too light, which it looks yeah. like mine's a mine's a smidge light. I did it as tight as I could, but I grabbed this um the tassel maker. Oh, I kept thinking to myself, what is that thing that has my name on it that she's using? <laughs> and now it's tight enough. And the further you push oh it God, up, that's so funny. the tighter it's going to get. And then let's see okay. if I have better luck with my first row. So Just cute. popping in there. And then last but not least, if I feel like I need it, I'm going to grab that ruler because that's a brilliant idea. But there we go. 
I wonder if last week my tension just, you know, warping live, I was just not like making it tight enough. Yeah, you know, I, it's always good when things like that happen because, yeah, I mean, we can learn from them and the people watching and then, you know, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so you're going, it's so funny that you go from the bottom yeah. to the top. I get all. But that's like, you know, that's like with my, um, with uh, that darn, you know, just like, what's that knot that always gives me trouble? Barrel knot, which I'm teaching oh, in my barrel course. Knot. Are you yeah. teaching that? Well, I'm teaching it in, um, for our February, the um, uh, Aqua Dye Jasper beaded bracelet. Oh, and, okay. And so I thought, oh, well, let's try to do a barrel knot for this project. <laughs> I love barrel knots. Those are so yeah. pretty. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I put like a piece of um, hemp in the kit and I think it'll be good. I think patterns are good for your brain. I do too. They're very soothing. Yeah, it's easy yeah. to make a mistake though. I yeah. made a couple of mistakes just on the first ones that I made. Um, yeah, my presence of mind lately, it's if it's an indicator, I feel like it's an indicator, like when you make lots of little errors. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, rest is important. I, my, um, I am still, you know, I'm, and I probably will always work with somebody. And uh, I had my, was it, what's today? Uh, Thursday. Um, Thursday, so, yeah. Day before yesterday, I had my um, call with my ministry coach who I, I don't even know that coach is the right word. She just really helps to keep my cookies all together. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what she said it was so profound, you know, she was like, it's okay. You don't always have to perform. And I was just like, you know, because life in everything, right? It's not, not doesn't even have to be like a literal statement it's like a mental place of yeah feeling like you have to be doing and always so have I, to be doing something Me yeah too. so i love the permission um to not have to that i can rest and just have faith and uh so if that's a little nugget for somebody out there it's okay I know I could use it. That's for yeah, sure. Well, there you go. There's your little nugget, Mama. <laughs> okay, I'm on row four. Are you? <laughs> I'm over here jamming, man. I'm like, I'm loving this so much. Aw. Yeah. I do love looming. It's it's one of the first like things that got me so into seed beating. Yeah, it's um. I like how fast it is. Yes. Oh my gosh, that project, that Jasper beaded bracelet. I, I had that thing whipped up in like, I, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm not exaggerating if I say under than 30 minutes because I was like, wait a minute, how is this already done? <laughs> so, and it looks like a million bucks. So I love that. I really love that. I got to check it out. I saw the text pop up right when I was going to pick up. Um, and so... Yeah, Didn't I just want to watch it just yet. Yeah, I only did the um what you call it, the warping. I talked about the warping and and um so then I still need to start the beading, but I'm going to do a different pattern this time. So like I have one done and then I talk about how I'm doing a different one too. So Okay, so I can see where we need to stop talking because I'm going to screw up. <laughs> well, like I do have um I do have one ready to go so we can jump ahead anytime. Okay. I'm just kind of going through the motions for in case anyone wants to see the process of throwing a few rows on. Yeah, for sure. I want to, um, we can finish. We get up. this row done and then I'll come back up to, let's see. But yeah, basically you would just keep going like this. And once you've got it warped, that's the, like you're, you're, you're sailing, you've got it. And it looks like in my row three here, I forgot to put my yellow. <laughs> See? No worries. I'll take that yeah. one. Fix it yeah. later, but That's okay. No one's Ideally, gonna... you would look. I left the little yellow beat out and I just made it blue. I decided it needed to be blue today. 
Yeah, I'm definitely into using this ruler. It's really helping for everybody to pop up. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Let's see here. And on this one, I had quite a bit of strand left here. Not too, you know, not too much, but just enough. And then I was going to bring down this earring. And I was going to show what I did for the fringe. Oh, it's so pretty. And any of these beads, are, you, you don't need to use, like, whatever beads you've got. It doesn't have to be these. Yes. Another thing that I did is there's a little attachment here to the loop at the top. Okay. And so I would recommend making that before you stitch through it. So I have okay. one that I made earlier. And something to note about it is if you're going to do the exact configuration that I got going here, you're going to need it to be one of them is facing forward and one of them is facing sideways. Kind of see how, how it's like that so that it hangs like that. Mm, gotcha. Gotcha. Joan, do you want to show my four rows really quick? Show me, show me. <laughs> oh, pretty. And you got the pattern right because I didn't. <laughs> yeah, right? Is that okay? That okay. Because I was like, oh, I got to stop talking. I can't. Yeah. So it's interesting yeah. with the darker nebula um, and then the blue turquoise. And then I've also got the traditional turquoise. Um, but oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. Very, very cool. Hi, Nicole. So, hey, okay. Nicole. Thanks, Joan. Awesome. Well, so um, I, I, why don't I pop this one off the loom? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Get, get the warps out of the way. And then we can talk about how we made the uh, little connection there with the ear wire yeah. and the fringe really good. quick. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is get these knots loose from the, um, from the loom. And so I'm just going to trim those here. that and I only trimmed the little knotted loop part so these two warps here are free but the rest of them they're still looped onto the machine machine okay. onto the loom the rest of them are still they're still intact they still have their loops um, okay. I only cut the ones that were knotted that were the very ends of those strands that we we tied uh, and then now I'm just going to free these I just take my thumbnail and just come along just pull them off, bring this down. All right, and this is gonna look super familiar to everyone who was with us last week. So I'm gonna grab uh, some chain nose pliers really quick. Those. And so we get to see this part again. This part is always super fun. So I've got I, I work from the center and I've got these side, this side. I'm going to just separate out these from these and find my center one. And I don't really have a center because the count is odd. So I'm just going to pick one and go with it. So let's just grab this one here. Pull up. And then at the bottom, you'll just get the loop just kind of going right there. Come to the bottom, grab the next one. Oh, that's right. You get to do this cool technique. I love it. Well, this is so handy for something small like this because you wouldn't want to have to sit there and weave in. All, you would. What you'd want to do is knot them and put them in one of those tubes, I think. Yeah. And I was testing the measure. On, if you're using 8 like I am for these, uh, um, the little slider, the 24 millimeter sliders, that's the, yeah. uh, these guys right here. Yeah. If you just taper down to 11 instead of 13, just by maybe square stitching 11 oh. beads, you can slide one of these on. Okay. Awesome sauce. And it'll fit right there. So, yeah. So I just realized that I was using, I should have been using my, corn flour, I was using my blue turquoise. So I'll have to switch that around. 
that'll still be really pretty, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's any mistakes. <laughs> I'm just gonna like bless us with that uh that right now. <laughs> I think that we are okay. I agree. Yeah, I, I'm I don't even worry about it when I make a mistake on my blooms yeah. anymore. I'm like, yeah. Trying to grab just that one strand there. <laughs> this is where the tongue is hanging out of your mouth, like when you're putting mascara on because you're trying to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I keep hitting my camera I hope if I'm making you guys see sick I apologize oh I didn't even notice and almost there almost got it done I want to make that one a little tighter let me pull here there we go last one so what you end up with are these two super, super, super long warps at the top, which are the, the, the side that I decided would be the fringe side because I had that um, extra thread to work with down here, which is actually my top right now. But um, yeah, just whatever side you end up with having those two super, see how long these are? Just keep going. Those are your fringe strands. And then you can use your leftover, or I guess you could call it the end, end starting left here, or beginning or start, to do the connection at the top. So why don't I do the connection at the top really quick and we'll get as far as we can with the fringe before. Let's see. Where yes, we you? appreciate you and your time so very much because you've got so much going on. We got a big show tomorrow on Michael's. Oh yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. I wanted to see if, if anyone's interested in coming. It's I'm kind of nervous for like, like just between you, me and the fishes, like I would rather <laughs> do the most complicated project on the planet than yeah. answer questions. I don't know what they're exactly going to be yet. <laughs> oh <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that's okay. Okay. General guy. You'll, know. You'll know you have the answers. It's so funny though. I, I'm such a nerd when it comes to stuff like that. Like, do I have to talk? <laughs> I don't want to talk. I just want to play at the beads, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and so from here, I just put a needle. I put a needle on um, on the, the leftover weft thread that I had here at the side that doesn't have the super long warps because again, we're going to use those for our fringe. And just up here, I'm just going to make this connection. Um, this connection here. So just going to go ahead and weave back over. So on the side, you have the, the side warp. Just look at where your thread's hanging out here. Mine's on this side of it. So I'm going to jump over it and go back this way. And then exit from one of the three middle beads there. And there we go. And so then I'm going to pick up uh, the colors that I like just a couple here and here's that that finding I made earlier and again it's got the like one side's facing and one, one side so the wire will go in the right direction so let's see I'm gonna make the front be this one go through it let's grab this color and that color slide that all down so so far so good now I'm going to jump over the middle bead, which is this uh, this bead here. We'll jump over this one and let's go through this one. We'll bring that down. From here, I'm going to go back up just through this bead. And the reason I want to do that is so that it will hug this bead right here. I need it to hug this one. And then I'm going to go through here. Hey, guys. Um, there uh, I actually, instead of the question, Patrick, it, I hit mute on it. Okay, How do you get rid of mute? It's 
Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Jules. No, oh. I'm Danielle, seriously, like not even remotely an issue. No, okay, thank you so much. Not at all. Oh my god, I love it. Are you kidding me? This is really just so funny. Little. This is what the beads are for right here. You know, <laughs> I mean, and this is just where we're at. Like when you're working from home and you're raising kids and you know, like this is just reality. It's all they're good. usually like um it's so weird they're usually a little like less difficult we're having kind of one of those i would say years because it started sort of after january -ish. I, I don't know hard okay. to say when it really started but we're going through a new phase uh, one that i'm not like i'm i was unprepared for the uh they're getting how older old, how old are they now um seven going on eight and nine going on ten yeah so and the just... biggest struggle in my life right now is the that's the video games. It's the screen time, and yeah, they um, they time out after they've been playing for more than two hours, which okay. is a very generous amount of screen time. I've, other parents don't give their kids two hours, so I hear. Okay, but, yeah. Like, so they've been playing now since we got home from school, and uh -huh. it just timed out. And I've told them, okay, we're going to go do something else. If once it times out, but they won't take yeah. it for an answer, and they're in here just like they're so addicted to it that they can't, yeah, like, they can't turn that off, right? Yeah. And so I'm at my wit's end. I don't even know what to do. It's like, should I take it away entirely? Mm. Like, that doesn't make sense because they need to be part of the modern world, right? The modern world is all internet, all like. I don't yeah, know. but they, but I would definitely agree that there has to be moderation just because it, I think it sometimes overstimulates their brain too, yes. you know, and they need downtime. And um, so I would think that, um, you know, maybe taper off a little bit. Agreed. Agreed. That's Maybe what we're trying to do. Yeah. Is it two hours like straight or is it two hours um, radically throughout so it's the like, day? It's like cumulative. So like okay. we'll let them play for two hours at any time they'd like to use that two hours is up to them. Yeah. Um, and then if they want more, they have to request screen, screen time. Okay. And the only way to do that. Well, so my youngest, he's, um, he's really clever. He, discovered he can get my ipad and do that uh which is why he wanted my ipad earlier yeah they're so smart <laughs> yeah they're so smart oh. yeah well definitely like you know i mean interrupting mom gets um gets Less screen time yeah gets 10 minutes yeah. taken away like, and that's I, where i need to actually like yeah come up with that chart and put it on the refrigerator like like Be here is your allotted time per day and here's what happens here's how the deductions happen you know, so you're also <laughs> going to teach them math while you're yes, doing exactly. this. And so there's, you know, X amount of time is taken away when they act up, when they don't listen, when they interrupt mom, whatever their things are, just kind of come up with this, how it's going to work. For reals. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you got to do. Yeah. You just tell them, Auntie. I'll call you after. I'll be like, okay. Yeah, call me after. And you can, you call can. Me I got yeah. this. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, there are things that are way harder than beating. That's why I'm like, I love the beads. Yeah, <laughs> it it takes a village to raise these kids. It so does. Yeah, and they're not gonna like you know, you're not gonna go to mommy jail because you're being a you know you're being a mom with boundaries. <laughs> you have to be. So I know, right? Yeah. So true. Yeah, you're good. I like that idea though. Take come up with a subtractions chart. <laughs> they're gonna they may, you know what they're visual right so they're they're they need to see like this is how it's going to start and then if you do the following things this is what's going to be taken away for so, sure yeah yeah i'm seeing lots of great comments too oh, oh good I, I agree you guys nobody's like putting me in mommy gel are they <laughs> no everyone's saying they're, I'm, I'm reading what becky wrote trust me don't let them play for long yeah yeah it's, it's yeah, yeah. They, then they also like can't fall asleep and stuff but no oh. it's horrible it's horrible for us and i am guilty of trying to lose myself sometimes at night into looking at things because i don't want to think anymore and it's really <laughs> really bad it's just really right. really bad um That's so true yeah so 
learn how to be with Jules and Danielle and also how to parent. <laughs> <laughs> and beating is easier. <laughs> and beating is easier. <laughs> Joan, bring in the wine. <laughs> And, and Joan and Ginger are just cracking up because they're like, <laughs> they're loving this. I don't know. Ginger's not even here, but yet Joan, it's almost like you have a double personality or something. <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking her head. It's like Ginger's a part, like you're part of your appendage or something. So true. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and reinforce this really quick. Um, I went through all those beads and just came out of this one. I'm just going to go through this one. And, um, all three actually. Okay. Just to make it stronger, right? You know, get over yeah. there. And I mean, right basically, there. you're just stitching. Just stitching, yeah. yeah. It's all kind of, it's all off loom from here on. Yeah. But super easy off loom. But if you're loving these tiles, I just did um, some peyote versions, yeah. a bunch of them, and they're going to be um, an April class. Oh my God. Okay. For all you, one off, a little all you off loomers. <laughs> off members get excited they, it might already be up i meant to check and then just got like super busy <laughs> but so i reinforce that twice you could do three times if you want um but now i'm just going to weave it in real quick so come in through some beads whichever beads you want and i'm using that usual like stitch down where you just pick up one of the warp threads the top one is what i'm aiming for here so just trying to get those warps right and it really, really makes weaving in nice and you don't have to do any knotting. And I apologize. I don't remember where I picked up this tip. It was probably like on YouTube or something, but um, I've seen it a few places now and it's such a great like life-changing tip for me. I used to try, try to um, do little half hitch knots. Yeah. Or I would just weave back and forth and back and forth, but inevitably like my um, my thread would poke out somewhere. All right, so there's that. Got that all good. I'm gonna trim it really quick. Top is done. Okay. So then, you know, eventually you'd like, you'd put in, you'd put like an ear wire on there. But down here at the bottom, I'm gonna grab my one of my long strands, whichever one, not sure which one I want to do yet. So let's start with the leftover weft because I've already got a needle on it. That's a win. <laughs> but you, you know what, what I do is like, I'll start this process. And then before I trim anything, just in case I need it, I like, I'll leave all these threads in place. And then right at the end, once I've got all of my, um, my fringe done and everything. So this is the mix that came in one of your kits. And I, forgive me. I don't remember. Was it January? Or was it's, it December? Um, yeah. And then it's sold separately online. It's the frost. Oh, okay. So you can still yeah. get it. Yay. I'm yeah. so glad. Oh yeah, definitely. It caught my eye and I'm going to try to copy really what I did over here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Super yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. I use the seed beads that are in it. So I grabbed one of my colors and then I grabbed one of these and I'm just copying what I did here. Um, just grab a small bead and then one of these to turn. And for anyone that hasn't done fringe before, it's super easy. The only difference that I'm doing here between this and what you might have is that the, um, which you might've seen before is we don't have a bead where the whole side's facing down where we can just go back up to the same one. So I'm going to hug this bead. Ah, gotcha. The same way we were doing all of this up here. So we just come back up through this bead here. And then I'm gonna go back in the other direction through it. So the thread's coming out one side, going back through it the other direction. And we'll just do that a bunch of times on every other. So there's one. And you'll probably, if you're starting from exactly where I am, you'll be facing a different direction. So meaning you're heading this way when you want to go this way. So to turn, all I did was just went up through this one. And I'm going to come down through the next. So let me show you really quick on this other one. I skipped every other bead. For a total of seven, is that seven? 
looks like seven there, and then in any pattern, any pattern you want, but I just kind of like that pattern. So, and from here, I'm exiting from this. Remember, I came up through this row, through this white bead. So I'm going to do that same little trick. I'm going to grab my my warp threads to get down where I want to be. I'm going to go through that bead, the one that I want to put my fringe on. And let's start the next one. So this next one, I started with a blue. And then I went to a limestone. And then I did another one of these white ones. And I went with this a little bit bigger bead, like, like one of the Saturns. Let's see if we've got any Saturns left. There's that. Oh, those are, yeah, that's so I pretty. love those. Those are so pretty. Okay, I'm loving this pattern. I'm over here just like <laughs> jamming. Yeah, go ahead. Jamming. Definitely the ruler is helping big time. Yeah. Okay, so. And this color palette um, is working out really, really well. Oh, good. And there's that one. And there may have been a more expeditious thread path than the one I'm doing. Like, for example, if I'd started with this one and headed that direction or something, but they're all going to work. Just weaving around to get where I want to be. And I'm going to try to tighten that up a little bit. There we go. So I was actually thinking I might send this, this pair to my aunt, the one that lives near you. Because oh, these are her style. She will love these. God, if you ever find yourself down here, you better make sure you I let me. To. I need to go down and, um, like, also, my sister-in-law lives in Burbank. I know that's not close, especially not. No, it's totally Catholic. close. I think it's close. Yeah. Like the kids want to go to Disneyland, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lots but, of reasons to head that way. Yeah. So when you do, you just let me know, and I'll... I'll be the one to come to you or whatever, because I know with the kids, it'll be a little more challenging, but. Oh, thank you. That'd be so awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, I want to get these done because I'm going. Um, so since it's not raining, I'm meeting some girls tomorrow in Westlake. West Lake Village, which you might be familiar with. I know where that is. Yeah. And so um, there's a really cool place at the Hyatt uh, property. It's called Stone House. And it's mm. so good. <laughs> it's really good. Gosh, and, gosh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. I definitely know where West Lake Village is. At the Hyatt property. So I, I think it's not actually super far from... Is that anywhere near like... A, Kind of like Canoga Park area. Or... So Canoga would be like, you know, for, further south, but it's like oh, Agora, Westlake, Thousand Oaks. It's when you go up the hill. Ah, like going, cool. Going up the hill, yeah. I was born in Canoga Park. That's where... Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? All the craziness started. Oh my God, that's so cool. So you're a SoCal girl. I didn't even realize yeah. that. Well, so yeah, I ended up in Seattle. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> But I always joke, I got enough sun in my first 18 years of life to cover me for the rest oh, of the Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I like my sun. I'm missing the Jersey Shore, though, that's for sure. So that's where you're from originally? No, I'm born and raised California. Girl. Born and raised California. But we um uh we lived in Jersey um for 14 years, I think it was, and um and then and then Josh's father and I um separated, and and so uh I stayed for a hot minute, and then I ended up coming back. I actually a pit stopped in Arizona. Oh, okay. And so I. I stayed there for almost a year 
and was working uh, for my girlfriend's company, Spellbinders. Oh. The die cutting company. Yeah. So Stacy is one of my, my besties. And so I was helping her launch into the jewelry world with die cutting. And then I was working with them on um, cakes. They had come up Ooh. with a die cut. Yeah. They came up with Remember. a die cutting machine that could cut fondant. And so um, that was really fun. And and then I was like, why am I in the desert? I'm a beach girl. And so I packed everything up and came back here. And and I think I've been home. I think I've been here for eight years now. Um, Josh is still in Jersey. So that's obviously a big part of my heart is there. Oh, yeah. My boy. That's the, the thing about kids, though, is when they're with you, they're like, they're kind of driving you nuts. Um, but then when they're not with you, yeah. you're like, I miss them so much. It's been two yeah. days. And let me tell you, the fact that Josh will be 32 year this year is like bizarre. Like I can't even, I don't even know how it happened. So it ha oh, it goes, exactly there's a lot of happened. things and I could just tell you it shifts. It just changes. Like it's going to be this and then it's going to change. And my biggest advice is always be available for them, especially when they get older, because the decisions they make and choices they make when they're older are um, bigger and could lead to bigger problems. Right. So when they're younger and they're nagging and they're a pain in the ass, <laughs> it's kind of right. like, you know, you just kind of set your boundaries and stuff like that. Um, but you know, like I was the high school mom. I, I made my hours available to always pick everybody up and take them to get things. And Cause high school, I think is really when junior high, but even junior high now, like, you know, so it, it does shift. No, that's totally true. I can see how, how it happens. It's the same way the last few yeah. years happened. Yeah. I don't know where those went. They're just like, it was yeah. really quick. Super, yeah. super, super quick. Just well, that them. just, holy cow, that just went together really quick, right? What you're doing. <laughs> they are. I have yeah, quite a bit of weaving in to do, but that's the gist of it right there. Wow, okay. that's fantastic. Oh, my God. They're just gorgeous, Danielle. I just can't. I'm so excited. I'm oh, so thank excited. You. you know what's really stinking cool about this, too, is that if you're not an earring wearing person, y'all, like, that can be a pendant. Oh, yeah. That can be a pendant and you're just going to put it onto like some sorry ribbon or even some silver silk. And um, so there's an option here. Like if you're like, that's really awesome, but I don't wear earrings. I mean, you can make them for somebody, but I'm also seeing a really cool pendant. I think I it would be that. great as a pendant. Yeah. I, I mean, I want everybody to know that they can definitely... Um, wear this because it's so like my pattern right now is just my color combinations really pretty <laughs> well i mean it's off of yours i'm just like i'm staring at it and i'm like oh look at it it's so pretty oh neat. yes do you have so you have it off the loom yet or is it still I don't, i'm down let's see i let me finish this row and then i'll wait do you have more you're still working let me finish this row and then i'll tell joan to come and show mine really quick okay um, let me concentrate. I'm just going to weave in then real quick while we're, while we're hanging out so we can okay. have a finished one. Okay. And I'm and picking these this will, up. These are going to quickly find homes. I'm going to have two pairs here. Two greens. B, a white, B, two more greens. Now I'm just tightening up things I didn't like from before. So anything that I feel like needs an extra something I'm just doing here. So let's see. This little connection here in the center, I just want to straighten it all out. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just weaving around. This is the perfectionism moment of designing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of the secret sauce, to be totally honest with you, because 
my stuff doesn't always instantly look great before I do all these little tweaks. Right. So I try pretty hard to make them perfect the first time, but I get that right maybe 25% of the time. Yeah. Well, we do our best. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. Oh my gosh. I didn't think we would have like the whole finished thing. Yeah. It's so, um, Oh, great idea. Um, Becky is saying and make a, a cool keychain charm. I've totally seen that. Like, first charm, like, first yeah. I love that. Now okay. I need to see it like on a leather bag, you know, that'd be yeah. really cool. Here's mine. Oh, you got it. I have four more rows to weave. Yay. Oh, your colors are great. I love those. Yeah. It's really kind of interesting. It's the same. It's, 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 you know, in the same family that you have, you know, but it different, right? Like a oh, little yeah. bit different tones. Yeah, no, I'm too, I'm totally stoked with it. I'm like so happy. I love them. And I am really, really, really loving working with the Eidos for a pattern. I mean, that's, that makes life really easy. <laughs> Isn't it refreshing? It's like, oh my oh. gosh, this is going to be way faster. Yeah. That crazy thing from last week. Oh, good. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, I'm really loving this. Hi, I Maria. really am. So, Maria's you know what I think is fun? Oh, yeah. I think what's fun too is like, I don't know that I would necessarily... Well, what do I want to say here? I'm down with wearing two tile earrings that don't necessarily match. Oh, me too. Me yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So keep that in mind, y'all, when you're making these, because, okay, let me get this harsh light off my face so I don't scare everybody. And then, Joan, if you want to bring, I guess, both of us back up. <laughs> And then let me just. <laughs> I got them back on. Yeah, let me see. I could have three. <laughs> no, I'm Oops. so excited about this one. It's, it came out nice. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. They're just really, they're so unique and so fun. Yeah, I love that. I like the way that bead looks. This, um, I don't even know what to call that bead. It looks like a tulip, doesn't it? Kind of. Let me see. That um, little tulip bead, the longish one. Oh, yeah. It's like a little oblong egg. <laughs> I've never seen. Um, Here, show I've it again. Joan just like pulled that. you show closer. Yeah. Yeah, it's so it funny. Has, it has like looks... a, little, a little tulip cut into it. Okay. Oh, it does. Well, it oh. kind of looks like it has leaves and then like a center. Oh, okay. I don't know. I've just, I'd never seen that before. And it was just here in this pretty mix. And so I just went to town with it. Yeah, there's a little center. Really cool. Center There's bead. some really cool beads in those. Yeah, they're like five dollars a bag. Like they're ridiculously reasonably priced. So, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, super cute. I know. Yeah, super cute. Super, super very cute. cool. I know. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm sitting on you. How'd you make me so like large? <laughs> oh, it's because my so my camera is really is that... far away from me because I got all oh. this rigmarole in between me and my monitor and the oh, that's the so like funny. on my monitor. I've been trying to make that work. And also it's up. So it looks like I'm not looking at people. And I, 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 got to, I know yeah. I have so much to work on. <laughs> yeah, no, it's beautiful. I feel like I'm like, all came in like a, you know, record ball. <laughs> Let me back up. Oh, huh? <laughs> oh, thanks for saying that. Cause like, I mean, seriously, y'all like we're doing the clips today. The clips are desperate moments for me. Like, <laughs> Oh, I love that. I you're making me feel really happy. <laughs> no, you have the whole, you have the whole, uh, it's Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. Yeah, that, that whole vibe today. I love it. <laughs> so just, yeah, just, you know what, get that refrigerator. You should, and then share it because I bet there are mommies and dads out there who would appreciate that kind of help knowing like, yeah. here's what I'm doing with my kids um, video time. Oh, for sure. And, you know, we could all use all the help in all areas of life. <laughs> I feel like even just sharing, like, guess yeah. what? This is happening all the time. You're not alone. Yeah. Might just be enough yeah. for everybody. Like, because I don't think I have solid advice yet. It's just more like, yeah. well, here's what I tried that didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can always do a channel like that. 
Yeah. And Danielle, there are so many moms and dads that are working from home these days. So, oh, yeah. you know, sure. they're, they're all dealing and so many people are homeschooling. So it's so great to like share um, how, you know, when Josh was a little, I don't really, we didn't have this, right? Like, isn't that weird? Like just mm -hmm. 30 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, this whole social media kind of, I don't really feel like it was that, um, it wasn't like it is now. So like when he was colicky, you know, I wanted to die. You know, when I mm -hmm. had postpartum, I had no clue. Like nobody was talking about these things. There was nowhere to share this kind of stuff. So, you know, you have this beautiful platform where we can it's all so true. chime in. And we have Facebook, like groups. That yeah. Have, yeah. All, all these things. I'm super grateful for it. Yeah. And it's so interesting how I just I forget about life before all of that. Like I went to college with a flip phone. Yeah. And it's so this is all new. Yeah. It's all yeah. amazing. No, I remember driving around town, like I think right after I graduated high school with the phone in the bag. <laughs> Do you <laughs> else have a phone in a bag? Do you remember the Miami Vice sat phones? Those like big bricks that cost like so much money and they just you would cut out if you went under like any like bridges or something. <laughs> Oh my God. It's so, and it wasn't, it just wasn't that long ago, you know, and we're so advanced, but yet, you know, and now it's like information. And, and so, yeah, I, I think it's great. I think it's great. me too. Oh, uh, yes. And thank Joan without Joan uh, and Joan <laughs> for saving us. We didn't have Joan 30 years ago. <laughs> and now we do. Now we do. Thank you, Cynthia. Oh, this is great. Thanks, Cynthia. And, Danielle, again, I can't even begin to thank you for your graciousness, your kindness, your just giving without, I mean, mm -hmm. like, I'm forever grateful. And um, thank you for giving birth to the earrings, um, oh, you know, you. to these little looms. They're just like, it's hysterical. Every mm -hmm. time I look at them, I'm like, yeah, like that's <laughs> that's Danielle's baby right there. That's, so that's cool. what we should put on there, Danielle's baby. <laughs> That's what we called them the business card earrings. I'm told I had yeah. like, I feel like it was a year ago. It was only August, right? Well, you know what? It's almost August. Like kinda. It's March. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's August. <laughs> I know. I'm so fun. I know that we're probably not gonna see each other for a hot minute because I think you're entering um a busy time, I think. Yeah, sort of. I'm gonna be at creativation. In yes, Columbus. that's what it was. Um, yeah. I don't know if anybody's in the Columbus area or if you're planning to go to Creative Vision, mm. but I'm going to be at the booth if you want to okay. stop by and, and say hi. We're doing some demoing. Uh, yeah. Some fun stuff. Like I'm going to do a workshop. So if you want to take my workshop, oh, I need to post on my, my uh, Insta about it. I forgot yeah. to post it. I was going to do it today because it's finally nice. up now. They're like, you can register for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should totally tell people about that because they'll want to come and learn from you, like hands down, like they'll want to come learn. Because that um, is a, is that, that's a trade show, right? It's still a trade show, right? I Creative think Asian? so. Um, this is my first time going and I, I know yeah. that it's different than like the Tucson Gem Show. It's something different. Yeah. Like it's a, but I'm so clueless. Yeah, I'm pretty sure um, it's the old Cha, the old ACCI, the old Craft and Hobby I do believe yeah. it's called Creativation now and it's a trade show. So you're going to have like the trade, but I could be wrong and there could be a time oh. for consumers. Um, but I think that it is. Trade. I think that sounds right. Like, I don't think there's yeah. anything for sale. It's just like to yeah. show off what's new or, yeah. I yeah. mean, they just said, Hey, come play with beads with us. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you need to do that. You need to, I'm sure Anne um, is going to be there and Julie McGuffey. Uh, if some of my crafty designer friends are going i'm going to tell them to make sure to come and meet you oh cool well, awesome yeah. you'll love them they're all awesome sauce yay okay well um we'll swing back around when i get back from the check that's right because then you're going to check so and then i'm go back I'm going to back stuff yeah, yeah. and then that's when i get back you'll have one of the boxes that i'm shopping for so that'll be fun oh, so and, that's awesome. yeah Trisha will I'm have excited. one and you'll have one and all the other creative soul peeps and you're going to see so else. many beautiful beads while you're there. It's going to be amazing. I, I, I just, yeah, I really want to get everything off my plate so that I can just like focus on, cause I had, you know, 
yeah, I'd like to really focus on what I want to buy and <laughs> everything. Yeah. That was, that was me. I know. <laughs> I know. It's going to be too I love fun. these. Oops, and you get to that. learn CBD from Jill. So I'm excited uh, to see. You. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that works that. out to where, because I don't know, I don't know that if she's, if we're teaching at the same time, but oh, yeah. just to be with her is um, going to be enough. Like I just want to be in her, in her presence, you know, she's amazing. You'll have so yeah. much fun. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be really fun to, um, to get to know her better and, and to hang out. So yeah. it'll be good stuff. Yeah. It's going to be such a blessing, but Joan, we love you. Thank you for uh, making oh, yes, us look so you. good. <laughs> thank you, Joan. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck and let us know how that goes with your, your new uh, video chart. <laughs> I will do. Um, okay, Annie. All right. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> thank oh. you, guys. Thank you.